having coffee today with Micah, Mr. Fed on well, Fed. Hello there. Man, I tell you what, I am going to have, I, you need to be like on every other episode because look what you, you bring. I bring the coffee and you bring the breakfast. That's this a, is, I'll take that deal any day. This is freaking great, man. So you, I mean, this is like, I've got like I, yeah, poached I, egg. Exactly. You, you've got the trash grits. Trash now that's grits. our, that's our slow smoke pulled pork on our uh, stone ground yellow pepper jack grits with grilled onions, smoked gouda cheese, a nice poached egg, sriracha sauce to give it a little spice. Mm. Um, we cook our grits like Why do you polenta. use sriracha? Here's my question. Uh oh, no. Mm. <laughs> Why do you use sriracha as opposed to something like crystal? Because sriracha is a mild hot sauce and it's extremely flavorful. It's got a nice garlicky base and it complements, you can put a lot of it on there without overpowering the dish. Mm -hmm. so. mm. And it's got that nice garlicky tinge it's to got, it. I was wondering that, because I was thinking maybe something like a, um, a, did you try it with crystal? I've been wanting to try it Yeah, and it's just, too, it's just too overpowering. Mm -hmm. You know, you put it's a little too, bit on the egg or it's just too much, you know. And gotcha. The sriracha, there's so many other competing flavors in there. Um, and the sriracha just kind of, the, the, the garlic onion base, is so cool. yeah, yeah, the garlicky base kind of helps blend everything together. So. And we got the fried chicken biscuit right here. Dude, isn't is that a, a pile of deep south on a plate? It is, Man. it is, and, and people love this. It's our own house-made sausage. We fry our own chicken fresh. Southern style cat head biscuits, big, huge. Dude, the biscuits are insane, yeah. you know? Yeah, it's a, and it's so interesting, because like you, when you, you know, here in the St. Rock Market, um, you know, you have got a brand new menu out. Yes. Um, so you need to come check out Fat on Fat. We're not going to get into everything about what you're doing with the new crack menu, right. but it's phenomenal. Gumbo's back. Gumbo's back. Okay, there right. you go. That's enough. Um, but one of the interesting things is that I'll get your, um, you know, your French onion soup is like down at the bottom in the corner. It's a new item. It's phenomenal. I like it. I come and get it. I sit down with it. I sell five. Like five freaking people come by like, whoa, look right. at this. What is, whoa, what is that? Where'd you get that from? You know? Right. So it's very, you know, it, it, it's like we have these white boards in here and it's hard to like really communicate it everything. That it's a lot do. to take in for people. If your first time in the market, you're reading literally like 10 menu boards. So By the time you get all the way around, you're so confused. You don't, you don't know what to, know what to And then so you're looking at people's plates and you're like, whoa. Look. I mean, I mean right. like you got And we have so many great options here that people are going to, they feel like they're afraid they're going to get buyer's remorse. Oh, maybe I got the wrong thing. So, yeah. It, that's why you're a little. That's why you have to come back all the time. And we do. We get, right. I mean, we see the same people every day for yeah. coffee, of course, you know. And then those people, I mean, but when you see something sitting on the plate like that, it's like, geez, it's awesome. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. Now, you, now, just so you're, this is the former King Creole. I do want to throw that right, in there. Right, right. How, how's the truck going? You got the truck. Uh, going? Tr truck is going well. It's been slow this summer, as as everybody knows. New Orleans. Man, you know, during hurricane is season, we it's lose brutal. all the convention it's business, brutal. and it, it yeah, it's it's been kind of rough. Every restaurant's complaining right now, but you know we're we're almost at the end of that, so hopefully we'll start to see that an uptick. Pretty and I soon. mean, I mean, uptick pretty soon. Look, I mean, we're gonna this the market is about to be overrun with people. Now that so. Rampart is fixed, yeah. So Rampart's Absolutely. repaved. The streetcar's yeah. opening very yeah. soon. I've got an episode about the streetcar opening and everything. Nice. So you can run back and check all that. We're out. looking at some food truck spots down there. Because food trucks can park on the opposite side oh, of Rampart. So you can be on the other side, the streetcar comes by, people jump off. and We'll see. And well, all the bars on Rampart, too. Oh, and, and the bars and stuff yeah, on Rampart. So it's, I mean, it's, it might be a good place. It's going it, to be crazy down here in the next couple yeah. months. And it's because it's so easy, I mean, to get from the CBD. Yeah. Five you know, minutes. Yeah, super simple. Five minutes. You know, super simple. So it's a... Uh, and it's always fun to be around here. We all trade off on each other. And I mean, like, oh, yeah. you know, because, you know, we're sitting here having breakfast. And uh, I, I didn't give you, generally I give my guests a choice on coffee. I gave you Sumatra today. Uh, I like that. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's kind of earthy. It's earthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a heavy, earthy. That's like exactly it. what it is. Uh, heavy, earthy coffee. Not a coffee in chicory, but a heavy, earthy coffee. Right, but it's not too dark. It's still got some bright tones uh -huh. to it. It's, it's got a yeah, nice minerality yeah, yeah. to it. I like it. It's great. I think it would pair with our uh, our breakfast. It does, yeah. Well. I mean, you want something hardy. I guess, big look at and bold this. to, to Dude, go look up against. Dude, look how hardy that, that right. is. <laughs> right, it is hardy. Um, and uh, and one, of the, one of the things that most people don't know about you and I, and I do have to like bring this in because 
there's uh, you know, there's some like Instagrammers in town that have like thousands and thousands of followers. Right. You're actually very famous on Twitter. A little famous on Twitter. You're huge, and it's a secret account. So don't. It is. I have a chef parody account. It's a chef parody account, mm -hmm. smart ass chef, and you've got thousands of people from all over. Twenty thousand three hundred and growing by about five hundred a, a week. It's incredible. That's yeah. insane. I, I have yeah. I have some Twitter followers, but they're like two or three. Twitter, and they live in my Twitter block is something. the wild, wild west of the internet. It's a strange <laughs> place. Anything goes. You'll see some things on Twitter yeah, that will just really. You say it's a really... parody account. Yeah, it's a it's a comedy account. I tweet about all sorts of stuff. So, you know, so it's like an alter ego of yours. You could say that. It's kind of like a Stephen Colbert doing. Right. So right. you're, yeah, that's that's right. kind of it's just it's just crazy to me because like you see these people on Twitter that right. are like famous. You're like, how did they get so many followers? But you're like actually famous on Twitter. Yeah. It's a, <laughs> like you know what I mean? That's like and you're just you Michael know, hanging right. out in the market, and right. here you are, Twitter so, right. uh, which, superstar. Which Twitter fame is? At the end of the day, it's kind of like you know being the fastest guy at the Special Olympics, I guess. So. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. That's the kind of stuff you'll see on the Twitter on account. On the Twitter account, yeah. <laughs> so, awesome. Um, and then, um, do you want to give us any weight loss tips or hair keeping tips? Well, you tips? know, now they say the camera puts on 50 pounds. So, you know, don't judge here. But, uh, yeah. I mean, that, come on. These are great. Yeah, I mean, these biscuits. I, I could eat this every day. I, I shouldn't eat it every day. But, uh. It's pretty delicious. Yeah. It's pretty delicious. Well, Micah, it's always good to have you in the market, It's, man. it's been I, fun being on the show, man. Yeah, I, I appreciate you, uh, you know, all the food that you do and that. You're, Anytime. You're definitely such an interesting, um, you know, like, you, you bring such a good, like, business mind element to the food. You know, it's excellent food, but, like, you know, your, your, your business aspect on the back end, I always enjoy talking to you yeah. because you, like, food That's, costs and all this. You know, when I was young, operation. it was all about the food. Uh... As I've grown older, I get as much enjoyment out of the business aspect of, of it. You know, the making money, the financials and my, stuff now. Because my business, uh, yeah, and I mean, and my, my business uh, kind of like overview is that everybody has to win, right? Yeah. Like from the customer has to win, you know, uh, our employees have to win. Right. Um, the, uh, you know, and then we obviously have to win. We have to make a living. And then even the people we buy from, all of our suppliers have to make money as right. well. And, and But they all have to win. I mean, and when I say win, I mean, it's like you're creating this, like, local, you know, you sell my iced tea down there. Right. So, like, you're buying iced tea from me. You're selling iced tea from me. I mean, that, that helps me and my family. Right. Helps you and your family. And it's, a, the, the, you know, I, and I guess I'm getting a little sappy here, but it's like a... It is. It's a community. And, and, and small business can work together. This, this is a great example of how small businesses can work together to help promote one another and, and get more business for everybody. Yeah, and it's, a, I mean, to, you know, to keep it, to keep it, you know, and to get to people, to get people to know that, I guess, is right. one of the things with the Coffee with Kevin yeah. show that I kind of enjoy. It. Yeah. You know, like, people can, because, you know, you're not going to get a chance to really sit down with you, you know, because right. we're always running around like crazy. But, right. I mean, for people to see that, and hey, this is what, this is what's kind of going on in this market. Yeah. I think it's a great way to, to kind of, like, get the, Get, I mean, for people to kind of understand right. what's to personalize happening. Personalize it. Yeah. Personalize it. Yeah. Right. It's like you, you and I and right. our families. This We're is just what regular this, guys. This is just regular. With Twitter accounts. <laughs> With Twitter accounts. One who has a whole lot more followers <laughs> than me. Micah, thanks so much, man. Cheers, Appreciate man. It. Thank you.